Hello, hello, happy what I eaten day. Second trimester, I'm feeling remarkably better. I finally edited and uploaded that video like yesterday, long time coming, but I was like dead to the world for so long. And I was surprised I even recorded that video, but oh, sorry, I just woke up. I'm glad that I did. Um, today, feeling a lot better. So I want to show you kind of another day of what I eat in a day um, that is a little bit more normal, I guess. I'm still feeling like a little queasy um, or just like my appetite's a little off and uh, dinners are still like, I still get kind of nauseous. I throw up like every other day, but the difference is now that I feel like I don't feel nauseous. Like I throw up and I just like move on with my day, which is a lot better than like hours of nausea than vomiting and then yeah, it just doesn't end. So um, today it is Wednesday. So I'm going to, I've developed like a, a semi-routine, although today it's like getting blown off because it is like, I guess like potentially thunderstorming until 10. One thing moving back to South Carolina versus Texas is like having to deal with the frequent rain. I feel like in Texas it would rain and like it'd be like one, it'd like be like a whole week of rain and then that would be it for the whole year. Where now it's like every three days. So I've been really enjoying waking up and going to a coffee shop and getting a little latte um, and then going to the gym because I joined a gym and doing strength training. But um, yeah, I don't want to walk through a thunderstorm, so I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to, I'll have to really evaluate what I'm going to do. What am I having first? I'm having cereal. I've been starting my day with cereal because it's like lightest on my stomach um, just to see like how I feel. Today I actually feel not nauseous at all. Sometimes I do wake up and still feel like kind of queasy. But today I feel pretty good. So I start out with a breakfast number one, which is Cheerios. I just get, I meant to get like the sweetened Cheerios and I didn't realize that I didn't. So get Cheerios or Aldi version of Cheerios. Then I put in a banana just because, I don't know, I think it tastes good. And it's healthy to add in fruits and vegetables when you can and things. Um, regular milk to add a little bit more protein. And then um, honey because I forgot to get the sweetened one and I don't like how it tastes like cardboard. It's funny because when I was really sick in the first trimester, I could not do any, like any sweetened this. I used to always do like honey on top of Cheerios. And now I, I, I at the time I was like, that makes me more sick. So now my taste buds have like kind of reverted back and I feel like I can do sweetened Cheerios again, which is a delight. Um, and we'll just see. I typically can right now do like breakfast number one. Yeah, I said like I go to walk, go to the gym, get my latte. Then I come back and do a breakfast sandwich like around 10. Then I wait and then I eat lunch. And then I have like kind of another snack after lunch. But then like around then is when I start to feel queasy. So we just kind of see. I definitely can't really do dinner. Um, I also wanted to show you around my house is I have a lot of new things that I want to show you last video, but I just like didn't have the energy. Um, so I want to show you some things that we got. I think we're kind of at a halt. We're buying more stuff for the house now because now we need to buy stuff for the baby. Um, and but I want to show you some things. And then what else do we have to do? I do need to like run some errands. I've been enjoying like having a really slow morning because I don't start like seeing clients are working from until like two, but I, I work into the evening. Um, but I need to run some errands. So I'm not probably gonna have like a super like relaxing morning like I normally do. Uh, we'll just kind of see what we get into. I'm gonna eat my Cheerios. We're gonna decide what coffee shop we either need to drive to or walk to and then go to the gym. I don't know, I need to like formulate my plan for the day. All right, I'm feeling like a little queasy. I can't tell if it's something that's gonna go away or something that's gonna feel worse. So I don't know ever what to do in this situation. But um, I wanna show you that I have no bump. So if you're wondering, I'm at 15 weeks. They care so much. Okay, that was so nice. Show them that you love me. He's afraid I'm not, he has like an, a, it, one of his like flaps has like, I don't know if it's an infection or like fungus or what, but you got a fungus? You like that word? but I think he, he doesn't like that I keep wiping it. I mean, you like to be petted. You just don't want me to touch that little area. Yeah, so, I've like, I've never been like, 
uh, like, I don't know how to describe it, but like this area has always like not been flat. So it doesn't, I feel like if it, I don't know. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing going on there. This time I'm gonna go to the gym. It's raining, so I don't wanna wear tennis shoes and get rained on. So I'm just gonna wear these boots. I have like duck boots, but I feel like those are a little less appropriate for the gym where these are like, technically like, aren't they like Australian sheep farming boots? So I'm like, I mean, people work out. That's a workout to be a farmer. So I'm just gonna go to the gym like this um, and go on a walk. Mm, no, we'll go on a walk later because y'all are not gonna like walking in the rain. Yeah. Okay, I did the smallest little baby arm workout. My goal is just to like kind of, honestly my goal this week, hold on, I'm gonna get run over, is just to get in the gym and maybe do at least like 10 minutes. I've been able to make it to like 20 minutes and I'm just like cycling through like a shoulder set, a chest set, or however many things I can kind of get through in my, parts of my body. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do about abs because I know you're not really supposed to work out abs, but again, like I don't really have a belly yet, so I don't really know. This week I said if I was able to go to the gym, my goal is gonna be four times a week uh, for strength training. The next week I'm gonna re-download the Evlo app. The only thing with this gym is it's like pretty decrepit and I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do. Their workouts are a little bit more designed for like at home where you have space. Um, there's not really space for me to like set up a little area like I used to do at my apartment gym. So I don't know, I might just like download the app to see like what their routine routine is for the day and then just like try to do it solo at the gym but anyway that's my goal to try to have a little bit more direction if I can commit to going to the gym every day this week or the four days which I've been doing well with as far as exercise right now um I'm really just trying to focus on kind of like gaining weight and being healthy and uh Hold on. So then from that overall goal comes my like secondary goals. So I'm prior trying to prioritize strength training because I saw it's like really healthy, a lot healthier to focus on strength training compared to walking. Um, just because you're probably gonna lose a lot of muscle mass and you need the muscle mass during labor and having a child and stuff. And um, my walking is really just coming from like walking to the gym because it's about a 20 minute walk there 20 minute walk back um so that's all i'm doing now for exercise Okay, my fate, my another favorite part of my day, and then it pretty much goes downhill from here. I'm just kidding. Not really. 
it's my breakfast sandwich. So there's this coffee shop, um, Island Provisions that I love going to, and I didn't go today um, because it's not like super cozy. It's like a good place to go if it's like nice out, I feel like, because it's very like beachy vibes. The place I went today, Bad Bunnies, is like a lot more like cozy vibes. But um, the other place has this breakfast sandwich and it is so good, I got it like three days in a row, but it's just like, I don't need to be spending money on a breakfast sandwich that I could probably make at home, so I make it here at home. Um, it's like pretty filling. Uh, I'm trying to think if you're trying to lose weight, you could like swap out the egg for like egg white. Um, but besides that, I feel like the rest of it is like pretty in line with like a weight loss thing. Um, because this is my hungriest part of the day, I kind of try to eat as much as I can. So also been enjoying <laughs> These like not super healthy um, yogurts that I got from Aldi, they just like really hit the spot. Um, like a sweet and a salt, a sweet and a salty because like, I really wish I could have like another coffee or a latte drink, uh, but because I have that latte every morning, it's like a double shot and I shouldn't even like dabble with decaf. So this like kind of gets my fill in for like a sweet thing to like have along with my breakfast sandwich, but. Yeah, this is kind of my like second breakfast and um, this is like my favorite meal slash like I'm the most hungry around this time of the day, so I capitalize on it. Okay, I finished that breakfast sandwich. It's so good. I'm always tempted to like make a whole other one, but we need to not because I'm afraid I will get too full. Um, but I did, like I just wanted something else like savory, but I can't ever put my finger on it, so I have this. So I just had like a, a little bit of tortilla chips and I still feel kind of hungry, so I'm like wondering if I just need more protein. So I'm having, I have like a half of one of these a day. I'm really not having any problem getting in protein, but I haven't been like needing a full one uh, because that sandwich is a lot of protein. And then I've been having a meat with lunch and then I don't exactly know how, but that gets me to like 75 to 80 grams. So, um, I'm kind of doing okay on protein, but I do feel like satiated after I have half of one of these. Um, okay. What do we need to do now? Now, I'm going to do moving on to the not fun part of the day. <sighs> I just need to, like, go print some stuff. Like, my, we have a printer, but I feel like home printers are a scam. They never work for long periods of time. And I was literally, like, spent an hour and a half trying to fix our home printer yesterday. And I just, I can't deal with it today. Um, so... I'm just going to go to FedEx because I got a mail, which is another thing that's like, why do we still need to mail documents these days? It's like, I had to mail something for my health insurance um, because I don't think my doctor is going to be able to take my health insurance anymore. And I'm like pregnant. So I'm like, hello, but health insurance, if I mail in this form, I can maybe get continu continuity of care for being pregnant. Um, so I don't have to pay like out of pocket. So um I need to go do that. And there's like a couple of other stupid things I need to mail. Um, and I just need to do them. So, yeah. I don't really want to, but we need to. So I'm going to do that. And then I'll probably come back and um, eat again.
Okay, it is time for lunch. This is like a hard angle to Turn that on. Um, I'm having my final leftover day of taco salad-ish. If I wasn't like kind of queasy, I would make this a lot more produce packed, but about all the produce I can take is like a cup of lettuce. Um, but it still gets the job done. So I have lettuce and then ground turkey, which is like the American style, like taco seasoning packet. Then I like a lot of salsa. I don't even know if this will be enough, so we'll just hope. Salsa, I feel like, gives the whole combination a really, really good flavor. Maybe I'll just want as much as possible out of this. And then, um, cheese and sour cream. Like, if you're trying to lose weight, this is still not low calorie, but it might not fill you up. Um, like I've been, I made this for David when he was here and, um, I put like radish, tomato, you put like, uh, cucumber in it. And then, um, that just gives a lot more like bulk for low calorie. If you feel like you have a bigger appetite and it gives you more servings of produce and then sour cream. I like a lot of sour cream, like two tablespoons worth, a bunch here in the middle. And I just eat it with chips. So this is my little like gateway back into eating some vegetables. I'm getting a little bit of vegetables with salsa and the lettuce, but I'm just glad that I can like at least eat this much. Yum. I want to end with something sweet for my meal, but like desserts are hurting my stomach. So I've been loving these car car oranges. They're on sale all the, and we've been going through them so fast but they're really good on our way to the ups store i gotta take care of like some stuff for my licensure like i have to get um to i'm a registered dietitian not just a nutritionist which just means that i have like a, a lot of like things i have to prove that i like have a you know bachelor's and master's in nutrition and then i like took this like accrediting exam and every time i move to a new state i have to like show this state licensure board of the new state that I've done all this so I have to like basically go like get all this stuff verified that I've done it okay I got the stuff notarized and then I had to go get envelopes to send the stuff off and I got like extremely nauseous I was like thought I was gonna have to go to the bathroom to throw up at Publix so I got these sour stuff typically like helps distract my nausea which I don't love that like this is the thing that I resort to but just like all I can do to not throw up. And these little sour bunnies in the Easter section. I don't know what it is. Something about like it just distracts. It's almost like I get the flavor of that taco salad and that makes me want to throw up. And it's not even the taco salad specifically. It's like anything that I would eat all of a sudden it just like comes like the flavor grosses me out. So this will probably help for a little bit. So I'm eating like one or two servings of these little, they're like the trolley gummy worms brand made into little bunnies. Okay, now I need to go back and work. I still feel like kind of blah, just like my stomach feels like upset-ish. Like it just feels like not 100%, but um, I wanted to show you some stuff that we have in the house before the sun sets and then it's not a very good view. So let me give you a little tour. This is the kitchen. I will say the house is not like 100% picked up, but it's okay. Um, and I don't think we really added anything from our old apartment. There's still stuff that I wanna organize. I've just like shoved places, but we just do things in order of priority and that's not a priority. So this room, I didn't really add anything. I don't think except um, I just added like those pillows and those are from Amazon and that one's from West Elm, but I already had this pillow. So I feel like maybe I need to fill it out with more pillows, but this is like functionally is a good amount of pillows. The dogs love to sit there. So I don't love the way that looks, but they love to like look out the window. And then I don't think I've really added anything else in this room. 
That is not getting used at all. In the dining room, which we never had a dining room before, it definitely doesn't normally look like this. I just started working over there and then I just literally put the groceries from Publix right there. But we did add this um, rug from West Elm. Um, and I think it helps a whole lot because we have this like weird chandelier that we have to deal with. And I think it helps. We do want to put like a, maybe a piece of furniture, some sort of maybe like buffet or some dresser or something I've seen a lot of pictures of and like pictures up. That is the baby crib that we need to put upstairs. We just haven't, but yeah, um, we had this in our old house, just not in the Texas apartment. And these chairs were also in the old house. They definitely don't match this thing, but we're not really buying new chairs. We don't really use this room a whole lot. It definitely could be converted into something else potentially. Then you come through the entryway. So this is a Charleston single home, which means that like, so like this is the living room I'll show you, but it's just basically like a long hall and there's room at the end of the hall and the beginning of the hall. It's just like how these homes were built to be skinny and that's just how they are. Um, we did buy this thing from um, Wayfair um, just to house like stuff. We didn't have an entryway in our old house really or in our apartment. So we're trying again to like figure out, I feel like this will be really pretty at like Christmas time. And right now I feel like it's just kind of like you walk in and it's like, bleh. So yeah, I don't know. I'll, but again, we're kind of like at a stopping point. I think I need to get a rug. I feel like rugs help so many things, but that's the entryway. And then the living room. Um, so I don't think we added anything except we got a new rug. We got rid of our old rug from West Elm and got a new rug from West Elm. I love West Elm rugs. Um, and I think that's really the only thing. Oh, the other thing we've added in here is this lamp, which I love. It helps so much in this space. Um, I feel like I wouldn't normally pick out a lamp like this, but this room is just like a warm room with a fireplace. So we need to just keep on with the warm vibes um, and everything else. Yeah, is as is um, how it was in our old apartment. Um, all this stuff. So then we go up the stairs and another long hallway of rooms. So this is the office. Sorry, this room is really messy. Office slash like, so that's where I work. And then I look onto this. This is a day bed um, that we had in our old apartment in Texas. Um, and then this half, I'm going to make the nursery. So the crib will go there. And then we're gonna put the dresser changing thing here. And then I am, I think I'm just gonna keep this as my office and we're gonna trial it and see because I'll probably be spending the majority of the time taking care of the baby. So I think it might work to just double up this room. I love this, this is like installed. But um, this is just all out because it, I don't know where to put it because I'm not gonna, I need to clear this out for like a baby closet. And I gotta figure out where to put, this is like guest bedding for when this pops out to a king bed. So I just like have it and that's like random work stuff. So yeah, that's the printer that I was like pulling my hair out over yesterday. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this rug. It's a West Elm rug and get a different rug for the bebe. Then we walk through this little hallway. There's a porch. So the other thing about Charleston single homes is they typically have a lower porch and an upper porch that are both long. And we haven't done anything with it. I feel like I'm gonna wanna put like a, maybe like a swing um, or something out here. It'll be nice, because there's a fan. Um, and they're redoing this house, so I'm glad that that's not gonna look like that forever. Mm -hmm. Uh, then this is David's office. Um, it was the previous tenant's nursery. So we didn't want to use it as a nursery because I like to just like close David off in his little office. And he likes it as his little office. The dogs like being in there. So we're just going to leave that. Um, this bathroom that's like nothing I feel like really to show off except I love that tub. And this is our bathroom. Um, again, nothing like super I feel like big to show off. This is our bedroom. It's a huge room. These rooms are huge and there's only three bedrooms. It's this one, that one, and then that tiny little bedroom. 
And again, we didn't add anything. This was from our house in Raleigh, so it's not old, but you might have not seen it in the Texas apartment. Um, our bed is the same. I did get this blanket from Quince um, to kind of cover up when the dogs sit on the bed. They just always get it dirty with stuff. So I normally just sit on the end, so I put that on there. And then we have a really big closet in here. It's like the only closet in the whole house besides that other tiny one. So we're sharing it and it's kind of like working out with a washer and dryer. All right, we're back to not feeling like great. I feel like if I didn't know that it would make me feel better, I would totally just like not eat the rest of the day because I just don't feel good. Um, so I'm just basically forcing myself to eat in hopes that it makes me feel a little better. So I'm having some lime, some lima beans um, or ba they're baby lima beans. I like them right now because they're just like mushy and buttery and salty and that's like the overall vibe of like when I'm not feeling great things that taste good. Um, we are um, in Millennial Living, which is our membership program. We always do a monthly challenge to try to keep you like engaged and get some, you just like lightly held accountable. And um, this month is, because it's March, it's eating healthy greens. And so this would be my entry. Um, so make sure to go enter that. If you post it three times healthy green things that you eat over this month, you get entered to win a chance to get a $25 gift card. I just randomly draw one person who completes the challenge and it's never like a lot of people. So you have pretty, pretty big chance of winning. So you could totally like win back the amount of money that it even costs you, honestly, like I guess almost double to be a member. So no beans and then go back up and work for a little bit because it's the working hour. Okay, I did get uh, white bread and peanut butter at the store. So I was like, let me just make a half peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I just kind of want to eat something else. Not that I'm hungry, I just like, I don't know, feel like I want to eat. So we're going to have peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then I'm probably going to have apple and peanut butter and hopefully that'll be the last of my meals today. Oh, I have done a lot of work for the past couple hours. And I feel meh. Like really hard. I just need to do like a literally a couple things for the next 20 minutes. It's very hard for me to do that. I feel like sicky too. But I can do it. I just don't want to get off. Thank goodness I have this day bed in this office because it helps me to work so much because it helps me to like not have to work in the living room to where I associate the living room with work. Um, it's just nice to be able to work from right here, but, um, I got through a lot of good stuff today because I didn't have client calls and it's just easier to like <sighs> crank through work that way. Um, and I had like meetings with my interns because I have two interns right now. Um, what else did I even do? Uploaded recipes from Linda Living. So every week on Linda Living, we upload new recipes, or I try my best to. And um, this, I just uploaded the recipes that I've talked about in this video. So you can totally check that out. You get a two week free trial if you want to sign up. So if you want like the taco salad recipe and the um, the breakfast sandwich recipe, if you, you know, you even just like want to save it for later, then it's there. And then I picked out like another recipe that a client brought up this week that you can check out. Um, oh. All right, I'm gonna see if I get motivated to make a reel, just a clip based on last week's podcast episode. And then I need to postage this envelope and pay for my South Carolina licensure. Okay. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna just have, I think an apple for my last, it's 7.30 for my last thing. So I feel a little bit better. Um, I did wanna give an update. I was thinking I forgot to get a, this update from last time that um in my first video like so that weekend happened and that was actually a really really bad weekend and i didn't realize that wasn't normal me like throwing up every hour for like six to seven hours straight um and so then i called the doctor and that was like a four-day episode that that ended up happening um and i called the doctor like two days later and she was like um if that happens again you need to go to the hospital so then it happened again that next weekend and the first day that it happened 
after like three or four times of throwing up, I went to the ER and got um, fluids and stuff and they didn't diagnose me with hyperemesis gravidarum or they like said mild because I wasn't throwing up once I got there. Um, but she did send me home with Zofran. And so I have had medicine and I've just been taking it. I haven't been taken, I haven't taken it in a while, but I was like, I had like another week. It like happened every week for a couple days where I would throw up that much. So um, I threw up or I took the Zofran when like that would happen where I was at the point where I'm like, okay, at this point I would go to the ER. So I'm just going to take the Zofran and it would stop the vomiting. So I did get medication. Um, I just haven't been taking it if I'm only like just feeling nauseous. Um, but yeah, that was that update. So I ended up getting it pretty bad. Um, a lot better. I'm hoping uh, everybody says like, if you're nauseous, like it typically ends at week 20. So I'm hoping, cause I'm at 15 this week. I've had some people say it ends at 16. Um, so I'm hoping like a week 20 off felt like all the way normal. Cause it would be nice just to be able to like go out to dinner on the weekends, but I can't do that right now. Cause I feel like crap. So that's it. Hopefully in the next vlog, I'll feel even better and can report back some more fun stuff about Charleston. Bye.